I wonder how hard or difficult it is uh, or, or easy it is to uh, identify the, the bad guys in your story or the bad influences or that sort of thing. You think, well, I've got a hero. I want him in his own bumps and bruises way to get, get through. But uh, how significant a challenge is it to pick out who the, other side of the protagonist uh, is. <laughs> um, maybe that's easy. Maybe, maybe it's easy to find bad guys out there. In the creative well, world. the bad guys are not always the whodunits. Um, right. In fact, oftentimes uh, the bad guys uh, work very very nicely as red herrings. Yeah. I mean, you want yeah, to you, be the, the, and the you person you don't want you have to be responsible, yeah. but yeah. Uh, you know, if if it was always that way, you could pick that person out. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So remember when you, uh, I don't know, I grew up on Perry Mason. Yeah, I love and I always knew who did it in Perry Mason because it was the person least likely to be true. Exactly. exactly. Uh, and then Mason would get up and he would explain the logic that led to it. You know, it's like, oh, God, give me a break. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I use, uh, I use who, uh, who the reader expects uh, to be the culprit.